Welcome to Masking Mastering for CapCut PCR, the full free value pack course tutorial where you will learn all you see on the screen right now. Do you want to hear the truth and nothing else? Well, let me tell you for a fact. If you watch this Masking Mastering course for CapCut PC up to the end, you will never be called a newbie in video editing anymore. You will never be called a video editor who does not know what he or she is doing again but instead you'll be called a total pro taking your video editing to a totally new level of greatness if this is something you want for yourself let's get straight right onto it yes to start with this free 100 percent course on max skin using CapCut pc it would be nice to show you all the kind of marks we have available on CapCut PC app and I will not want to waste your time so I have a clip on my timeline now to assess the mark scan tool all you need to do is to be on video basic and if you move to your right you should see the, the marks too so there are about six of them and they all do different work okay so the first one we have is the horizontal marks to in this course in the course of this full free course i'm going to be showing you how to use this matter of fact i'm going to be showing you how to use all of them for different techniques different effects as much as you can we have the mirror marks we have the circle marks we have the triangle marks we have the hat marks and we have the star marks. Yes, I know with time more will be added and one thing I wish they could add is the um, cut out like a pencil to marks where you can just use the pencil to, to draw the area you want the marks to appear. I think that will really help a long way. But basically this is the first step. You need to just know these six marks to you can use them in different form and ways very simple to use not complicated so we're just going to get to the very next lecture and we'll see how cool it can be so stay with me so now i'm about to show you a really basic use of the max tool very easy not complicated and super straight to the front foot with your video editing it's quite cool because even at this simplest stage you can do cool effect that would surprise people or surprise your video editing clients going forward so without wasting your time let me show you so for this one we are using this cristiano ronaldo cutout and i placed it in here you will show you know how to do that if you've not watched my full course my full cap cut course you can watch that okay so we're just going to use the horizontal marks tool for this as you can see just clicking on it cuts this image into two parts so it looks like it's staying up and we can see the C below so what I'm gonna do is just do something like this okay and I would fade it out a bit by clicking on this circle and dragging it up okay so I'll give it that little fade and then you see this line i'm gonna left click on it and also drag that out completely okay so now it's completely dragged out the next thing i want to do is to have a starting point as you can see this is the beginning of this image and i want the marks to go through and review cristiano ronaldo so what i'm doing is to add a keyframe at that beginning spot and then I'll just move my play head as you can see click down with your left mouse click button and drag it to the point where you want it to fully review and then go back to this line you don't need to click on the max tool again just go back to this line and just drag it all out like that it automatically adds a new keyframe at that spot so now if we go back and we'll play it this is what we we'll get so that's a very simple max effect not complicated at all super easy to do let me play it one more time 
So you can start by testing this out for yourself. That is called a review max two technique and you can use it in so many ways. I'm going to be showing you how to use it for transitions also. It's cool and super interesting to do. I don't want this course to be extremely long, but at the same time, I want it to be as informative as possible. So I advise you to watch to the end. Subscribe if you've not done that already. And please support the channel. It's super thanks or something. You can support the channel in any way you want if you benefit or if you get value from this course. In this lecture, I'm going to be showing you how to add the little faded dark corner text box where you can add either a title, caption or object into your video. As you can see, this is a video of a lady having a nice time at the beach. So I can move to one part. Before this to work, you need to split the part you want the effect to take place so for me is this part so i'm just going to hit on ctrl b to cut that part and i'm going to move my playhead to the part where i want it to stop and i'll hit ctrl b again so now we are working with this part here yeah? this is the part we are working with so now what you need to do is to go to your max tool and you want to click on horizontal max okay you want to drag this max down for instance, maybe you want it to appear at this side. As you can see, it's looking just plain. You don't want that. So you want to inc increase the fade with this arrow. So you just click on the arrow with your left mouse click button and drag upwards. Okay. You don't want to overdo it. You just want to do it so that you can kind of see what you're doing. So you can see. So we have that lower border now. And now you can just add your text in to fill so I will just add my text in to fill that space so to do that we'll go to text default text so now we have default text we're going to bring it down and put it here so let's first change so we've placed it in the middle so we're just going to highlight this one for instance we're going to say like like and share right then you can change the font so whatever font you want i'll use this and i can reduce the scale just like that and one cool trick i can do is to convert this to a compound click so that i can add video video like effect so i'll change that to a compact clip so now we have it as a compact clip, compound clip, just in case you get confused. Then I'll go to animation. This is one little trick. I'm going to make a video about some tricks you can do on CapCut. And now I'm just going to add in a cool effect to it. There are so many effects you can add to the video. For this, this is an in animation effect. So I'm just going to okay, add a combo or make it a combo of in and out okay so we can use this as you can see so you can see how cool that is you can use different types okay that's one this is another one which you can use also you see so it's cool different kinds different types so it's super easy not complicated at all so what is the film strip the film strip is that cinematic border you always see in top notch in hollywood movies and you wonder how they do it if it's in post or on post it's in different ways but the way we do it in editing software is quite simple let me show you how to do it so you go to your max tool and this is where the mirror mask comes in so once you click on it this is what you get so all you need to do now is to move one of these dots and it's going to expand both ways so let's start from here and this is how i will do it okay so if i take it out like this this is how it looks and if i add my for instance my keyframe at this point at the beginning here and i move it to this point and decide to 
now make it cinematic from the normal video something like this once i go over to play it this is what you get you see so it's there it happened slowly but surely you got that cinematic feel of the video super easy to do not complicated at all these are cool techniques you need to know when it comes to the masking tool on CapCut PC and it takes your editing to a whole new level. So we are about to change the sky using the mask tool. I'm going to be showing you three masking techniques using this. I'm going to be doing videos to video using two different videos. I'm also going to be using picture to picture and I'm going to be using just plain video with no one in the background and a picture and trying to animate the picture bringing the picture to life so the first one is for us to do the human to sky masking techniques and i'll show you that right now so let's bring in the video we want to use this is the video we are going to be using as you can see it's a 9 by 16 9 by 16 you might want to use the video the way it is or for me i want it to be a 16 by 9 okay so i'll select 16 by 9 and then i'm going to zoom in i'm doing this in the beginning if you don't do it in the beginning you have issues so this zoom should be around 116 or 316 and i'll just move it like that usually i'll make it 113 okay just like that and i would want it to be from somewhere here so where she's kind of in frame so this is just me reframing it properly all right so from here i'm gonna cut this is where i want to start from so i'll do ctrl b i'll get this out so now we are left with this image so we have the first step all set we're now going to bring in the second clip which is going to be this flowing sky it's fantasy sky you see i'll put that on top so i'll put that on top like that and i'll duplicate this so i'll just copy this and do ctrl v so i have that and now i'm just going to go to bg i'm going to get out the background of this image oh sorry this video so I'll just do auto cut out and it's gonna process it so we'll just wait for it to process it and we'll come back okay it says it's completed already so we can just move this to the top uh, as you can see so it's auto cut out already now this is where the magic happen let's click on the middle clip which is the sky and this is where we want to add our max to so now we'll go to max from videos so from video we'll go to max we are going to be using the horizontal max so click on that and now you want to adjust it to just cover a bit more of the sky so i'll just turn it like so and I can drag it down a bit. Let me just drag it down a bit. So I'll move it down just a bit. As you can see, it's creating a space here. So I'm just going to increase that. That's perfect. So let's go back to max. And you see this arrow. You want to drag it out. So now when you drag it out, it's going to create a blend between the sand and the sky so you just drag it out depending on the image you are using depending on the image you are using you might want to use a clearer image to get the best results but for me i just have it like this and this is what we we'll get so you can see how cool looking it is so we change the sky from this to 
this and it's quite easy not complicated at all to do as you can see we have a lot of the green here and that's not yeah, it does not look too good so we can go back to max and just reduce this blend a bit okay get okay, something like that so then we'll go back to basic and play it from the beginning this is how it looks now so it's good it's good this way so that's one way of doing it remember you want to make it the whole length of the video you want to make it the whole length of the video so you can just now click on this copy ctrl c and just place it till you have it completely on the screen like that so you just keep placing it and ensuring you are putting it where it should be just like that so you do it to recover the full length of the video and we'll do one more and then we'll cut it where it ends Control B and we'll get out the SS part just pressing your delete so now once we play it from beginning we have this So you can see it's not uh it's not complicated it's super easy all you need to do is just master the mask tool with this full course i have for you here and if you watch every video you become a pro video editor using capcut pc so now the next i'm going to be using is the two image so i'm going to be bringing my first image which is once again this sky i'm gonna make it cover the screen just like that and then i'm gonna try to blend it but before blending it i'll bring in or oh, let's just blend it once so that we don't get confused so let's blend it once again horizontal max and then we'll just blend it like that cool so we just have that to the side so now we can move it a bit to the top because we want it to be evenly spaced just in the middle like this so you see we've created a black box here so let's bring in the other image so now this image will be at the bottom so i'm just going to take this lightning storm sky to the top and then we'll work on this and make it bigger like we did we expand it so you can either expand it using this course or you can expand it through scale like this so it's up to you now you can see it looks like it's also blending in to the sky which is cool but we can add a little effect so that it looks more natural all right so for this we're just going to turn it like so so now we are turning it anti-clockwise instead of clockwise so normally we would have turned it like so which would still give us a black background black bottom but now we are leaving it like this i'm going to show you in a video when that black bottom will be useful if you've not watched it already so now that we have it set like that we we'll just drag in this so it makes more sense right so now this is the way it looks and you can see if we play it back this is the way it looks we can just once again add the effect i already showed you how to by going to adjustment and playing with the colors okay play with the colors you can go move it a bit again play with the colors again you can just when you use just the temperature change the temperature you change the tint just keep doing this make it cooler 
you can keep doing this and you can work with the saturation too giving you that purple sky let's bring it down a bit and let's take this all blue uh, let's make it green so we have that not pool kind of sky and we can return it to the basics so now let me show you how to make transition effect using the max tool on CapCut PC super easily so I'm gonna be using three videos as I would be showing you two ways of doing the transitions I'm gonna be showing you the left to right or right to left or up to down and I'll also be showing the circle circle max transition which you can use for yourself so I'm gonna bring in three images or videos not images so we're going to be using the tree and we're just going to go up from there working on each one so i'll select these three because they are a bit long and we don't want it to be that long right we don't want it to be that long while we work on it so i'm going to select the three of them and i'm going to cut them here by doing Control B and getting rid of them. So now let's do the first transition. The first transition is going to come in. This is the first video, so we're going to work on this. So we'll go to the max tool, we'll go to max, horizontal max for the second one. Oh, I did this first. Let's I did this top layer one. So we we'll do horizontal max, and I want to turn it just like this. Any way you want it to be, anywhere you want the max to come, you can now drag it out totally like so. And we're gonna set that as a starting point. And while we move. We can now drag it in and do something cool. You can now do something, drag it in, move another keyframe. We can turn that like that. Okay. So we can turn that like so. And just totally bring it in at this point by dragging it in so that's what you have so if you play it is what you simply get cool right now at this point where we had this one coming in we can allow it play for a while and decide to bring this in but this time we're going to use the circle max for this so let's ensure we still have the max on this so we made a mistake and now we've lost the marks on the other one. So I'm just going to do Ctrl Z and Ctrl Z again, do Ctrl Z again. Yes, so now we have our marks back. So if you make a mistake, it's good you do your marks back and ensure you are selecting the clip you want the marks to appear on so that you don't make the mistake and lose your work. Very important. So now I'm just going to select this for instance this is the first one okay I will make the circle super small all right so I'll start this will be the starting point I can make it totally look like it's not there right so this will be our starting point and while we move forward I can make it bigger Okay, like so. And just make it cover the full length like this. And I'll make it cover the whole screen. So just move it another keyframe. 
and then so i'll just reduce this because yeah sometimes you won't be able to get the circle again so i'll just try to zoom out of the framing that's this circle so that i can get access to this dot and then i'll just do this it's as simple as that so now if we play all from beginning this is what we are going to get just watch this and see how easy it is it's not complicated so you can see how easy it is if you notice there was this dot there was this dot at the beginning from the third clip does this clip so what you can do is make sure that particular one go to basics make sure this dot is somewhere here for instance okay so that will be the keyframe so you can put it there then it will only move here it will only move at this point to somewhere here if that's the way you want it so that by the time it's coming in you have it like that so now you see the coming in now has made it appear not to be in the center so you just need to position it like that and now when you go to the beginning and play all this is what you get so everything moves just like that and perfect it's super easy not complicated to do you just need to have your own creativity in line and every other thing works out just the way you want it to be i hope this was helpful let's keep going so i am assuming you have a video you want to make and it needs to do with grid background but you don't just want the conventional grid background which the head looks sharp and all and you want to fade the edges there's a simple way to do it with the masking tool i'm going to show you right now so first we'll click on the masking tool and for this we're going to be using the circle marks okay so as you can see we have the circle marks and now we have the marks in there so what you can do is to click on one of these edges and drag it out like that all right so you drag it out like that but before we drag it out as you can see because we've dragged it out it does not give us the chance to fade right so we can actually reduce that now and we'll first of all fade it by dragging this circle like i've showed you before okay you can see it so it's intentionally add that to the background so we just need to move now and if we drag it out a bit so you see now it has faded the edges let's go back to basics as you can see it has faded the edges so it does not look too sharp anymore as you can see so now we have it perfectly placed so it looks like the, the grid is fading deep into the background and we'll just have the surface going in because if we go back and i show you the two with and without the grid okay with with or without the marks so let's take out the marks this is how it is and this is how it is with the marks so you can see it light and day difference just to add a bit of fun to your video background it's not complicated at all hope you enjoyed this short one let's go on with this simple process of using max tool on CapCut pc now in this one i'm going to show you how to do the zoom magnifying glass effect magnifying glass effect yes that is what it is so i'll bring in the first image as is this it says believe trust pray win subscribe now okay so we'll just make it as it is okay um i'm just trying to make it equal all right so we've done that so as you can see we have five words on the screen so that means we're going to split the screen into five places so we'll do ctrl b for one 
so you do uh, sorry about that so you do two now just follow me to the end and you would understand how to do this yourself so we'll do control b again for three make sure it takes the element behind here is highlighted so this will be four right so i think we have one two three four then five now we are not done yet so what we are going to do is to go over each one and make a max a circular max okay for this so i'm just going to find the first one which is this okay this is the first one i'm going to add the fader a little bit all right so that's the first one we'll go to the second clip okay you see so automatically it isolates all the other clips on the background so let's move to the second clip it's going to be fun the second one should be pray right so we'll go to max circular max and this time we want it on pray once again we'll just increase the fade a bit just a little so it says spray then we'll go to the third one and this says trust so do trust so you trust the process i'm just showing you how to do some really cool effect you won't really see okay and for this say win win so the win move it up a bit and finally subscribe now the magic is about to happen this is just the first part where we max the tools accordingly maxing out the word accordingly so it says subscribe now right okay so now we have it there so now we are going to go back to the beginning as you can see it already looks animated right so you can leave it at that if that's what you want but we can add a little touch to this all right and we'll bring in this magnifying glass and just placing it at the top all right just like that so now we are going to measure this magnifying glass for the starting point like this okay and we're going to go to basics and we're going to do transform keyframe so now that's our first keyframe and once we move to the second one okay we move our magnifying glass to the second one like that okay so what i will advise you do is just put it if you predict where the next one will be just move the magnifying glass already to position it there you can just mark that out so if it's fuel is going to be here then once you move it to that part you can now move it again so that gives you that proper movement then if you move to this one also you know where it is so just go back move the magnifying glass somewhere here so that by the time you take it to that frame it's kind of out of frame and you can do the effect again by moving the hand and you have it like that so we'll go on for the final one which is subscribe right so let's move it a little bit to the back and then we move this like this so that by the time we move to the last frame we can now position it well and then we can also do the rotate keyframe a little bit in front so i'll just do the rotate keyframe like that so now i'm going to move that and i'll make it a bit wider 
like so. And I'll move it to the front again. I'll try to rotate it one more time. And move this hand just like that. And I'll increase it again one more time. So now it has created a cool effect. And if we play it from the beginning, this is how it looks, my friend. Trust, pray, win, and believe. Simple, not complicated. You can make it smoother, obviously, by just clicking on the keyframe graph. But that is a video for another time. And make it better. I don't want this video to be too long. So let me try to do the first one. Okay, first one. So I'll do show keyframe graph. Just right click and show keyframe graph. So now you just move up. All right. So now we're on this one. You can decide to choose the Y or X axis. All right. So it depends on where it is. So we can now move and show keyframe graph for this Y axis. And you can just do auto curve. You don't need to get too complicated with it. And you can do that for all the Y axis. Just do auto curve. Then you can go back to. Let me just quickly show you what it looks like. Auto curves. Another auto curve another auto curve and the final auto curve then you also want to move to the x axis and you can do same thing for the x axis too just put in the auto curve so that it's smoother yes this might be the longest of them all but you i'm just trying to show you how to do it properly so that you have the smooth professional effect I'm choosing auto curve because I don't want to get things complicated. Complicated. So now we've done it for the X and Y. Then you can go to scale. Scale just has two, and we can just, you know, bring down the drop down and do auto curves also for scale. Right. So one, two. Perfect. So now that you are done, you can just right click and hide keyframe graph. So now let's go and let's see how smooth it's going to play now. Okay. So you can see it's not complicated. This seems to be one of the shortest. The win is the shortest, so you can adjust that. You can adjust that actually. So let's just make it the way you can adjust the wing if you feel it's too. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so I think it's this one. This one needs to take a bit longer, so we'll just move it and let it cover like that. Okay, so now we'll play it. And this will get simple, not complicated. Welcome back. In this class, I'm going to show you how to put two videos on one screen using the mask tool. It's super easy to do, and we are going to get straight right to it. So I have these two images you can see. Yes, you can see the one under, but there are two videos, not images. And then we add this grid we have the grid we just worked on not too long ago so i'm going to hide the first image at the top so that i can see this particular image as you can see it has been made out to be a grid but how did i do that let's go to the masking tool and you can see if we click on none this is the way it's going to look normally but then i clicked on the masking tool and i selected the triangle max which i told you i was going to show you how to use and then I reduced it to something like this. And then I go back to, you can actually fade it out. I'm going to show you how to combine two clips. I'm going to show you how to combine two clips to make it fun. You don't want to overdo the fade. Okay. 
so now we can just go to basics and we have this clip we can move it to the side and make it smaller okay just like that and we'll just do same thing for the clip at the top so now we're going to turn that on same process go to the max tool from basic go to max triangle max and we'll just do same process not complicated same process blow it out a bit like that remember you don't overdo it and you go back to basic you need to click out to basic so now we have the two videos just side by side like that and we can reduce this also so that it's almost same length with the other one we have perfect so we can just move it to the edge like so so now we have two images yeah and if we click on play if we click on play this is what we get let me make sure i'm still recording yes i'm still recording so if we click on play this is how it's going to look so you can see the two image playing separately i'm going to show you how to fully merge two images this is just side by side in the next video i'll show you how to put arrows how to eliminate arrows on them right so stick around this is just to show you how to overlay two images on your screen simple process not complicated at all i'm going to show you how to add this glowing white arrow to the video we just made previously and i'm going to animate it using the max tool on CapCut. the mask tool can do a lot and i'm going to be showing you right about now yes you can't see the video because this arrow is over laying the videos we have here so i'm just going to hit the plus sign and bring that in so as you can see it's by the side we don't want to want it at the top of this like that so we're going to use this edge to reduce it okay so we're going to use the edge to reduce it like so and just make sure it's in between the two yes like that and now what we're going to do is to come to the beginning this is just like the first step I showed you. Go to the max tool. I want to click on horizontal max. As you can see, it's horizontal like this. We want to turn it to 90 degrees. Perfect. I want to go all the way to the back. For this, I'm not hitting this arrow. I don't need to fade it. And I'll just move this to around somewhere where I want it to appear. You might want to make it appear on oh, this is the first day sorry don't make that mistake turn on your keyframe that should be the first starting point then you move it to the second point let's say here and you just cl left click on this map and just drag it to the top like that fully showing it's going to create the next keyframe and now when you go to the beginning when we we'll play this what we'll get okay you can see how easy it is not complicated at all super easy okay so it's quite easy to animate arrows in now let me show you how to make the highlight effects this effect is all about highlighting text for instance on a newspaper or highlighting object it's super easy to do and the first image i'm going to bring in is this love sign newspaper as you can see it's on the same line with our background and we don't want that so i'm just going to move it to the top so now that we have it at the top as you can see it just came in i'd like to animate that a bit so let me do more of a popping animation to give it more life right so that it looks more cinematic to the eyes and not complicated at all so i'm just going to go over and for instance bring in this animation okay so now that we have the animation you can see the animation ended here as you can see there's a white line 
so now this is where we want to start the highlight so for me the highlight i want is this fat diver right so i'm just going to bring in my stroke you can download strokes online if you want me to create a doc file where i have all these elements i used in this video let me know and i would gladly do that so let's bring that in as you can see it's going behind the newspaper that's not where we want it we want it also at the top now that we have it at the top you can see it's super big so let's go to videos right usually we'll come to scale and reduce it but then because the element we want to work on is just directly behind it which is this one we are going to click on uniform scale we are going to turn that off and now we are going to reduce each element scale height and scale width separately so let's do that let's in reduce them separately by just pressing your left mouse click button and dragging backwards with your mouse okay so we are just going to reduce it like that that's the first step then you see this rotational button press on your left mouse click button and just turn that also then you place it just where you want it to be usually you need to do some little but very little adjustment not a complicated one then in your width you can reduce it again just like that you can reduce height again just like that so this is not complicated at all now you'll be wondering we are no longer seeing the text right now this is what you do you go down to blend and you see default usually it will be logged up like this this is how it will be so you just need to click down show and once it shows it you have two options you can choose from either darken which will appear like this or you can do overlay which will appear like this it's totally up to you the style you are going with so if we go with darken this is what we have just to darken that part over every other part on the newspaper we have it like this then we now go to max because it's time to max it we'll go to the max tool and we'll click on horizontal max this is where the magic happened now you're going to rotate it not like this not 90 degree but anti-clockwise just like this all right so now you're going to drag that down to where you don't see the brush orange color anymore then that's where you want to add your first keyframe and then you can see keyframe added already if i turn that off you see the keyframe disappears from that part so now we are going to turn that on good so now we'll move it to where we want it to totally show up for instance this spot and now we see the line we'll left click press on the left mouse click button and just drag it back up again like that so once we re release the mouse button we have another keyframe as you can see it and now let's play it from the beginning so that you see the way it looks you see so we've added that cinematic touch to your image and now it's no longer just a normal picture or normal video you've added a touch a really good professional touch to it and now you have a better video and it's more enjoyable to watch right so that's how to do it then you can decide to cut it off and take all of them out of the screen here yeah, it's totally up to you what you want to do it's just totally up to you so if you don't want to do anything you just want to cut that part up or you just want to zoom in to the image you can do that that is just a video for another time but i'm just showing you how to do the stroke effect i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one so now i'm going to show you how to merge two videos together using the max tool it's quite interesting to see that it's easy and it gives your video a little touch of professionalism so let's go ahead and do it so i'm going to bring in the two images which is this one and i'll leave that to the top and i'll bring in the second one which is this okay once again we'll lift that to the top so as you can see it's quite long we'll just cut it up here pressing your control b cut that off We'll do that for the other clip, Ctrl B, 
and we get that up so now we are left with these two image obviously you can only see the one at the top so to start with we'll turn off the one at the top by clicking on this eyes or this track so you see this eye track so now we have this track and now we'll go to max 2 and this we want to choose the triangle max again all right so you might decide to make it to turn it this way and make it a little bit bigger like that so it's up to you what you want to do okay that's what you might want to do and then when you're done just you know don't forget to always you always put this because if you leave that let me show you how it look it just looks like a normal box right so now let's move that to the right like so and now let's work on this other track here and do the same thing i'm going to show you how to add the cool effect once again triangle max rotate right 90 degrees increase it and make it bigger perfect so now let's go back to basics and once again it looks like it's just to the side like that right so now this is where the magic happen let's go back to max and toggle that arrow you see this arrow let's toggle it and you're going to see it's going to blend with the other image just like that and we'll do same thing with this one and we'll blend it too all right so now you can clearly see the effect we have here if we go back to basics so now you're seeing it's blending with the background and also with the other video so now we have two videos blended together and moving at their own pace so you can see why the max 2 is super important giving you different feel of an image and different style different effect it's super easy to do not complicated i hope you enjoyed this one now i'm going to show you how to do the text review effect using the max tool on capcut pc it's not complicated and uh, we need two images or two videos to make this work right or we need a video and a text right so now the video i'm going to be using is this cute nice lady having a cool time the environment is quite hot at the moment and everybody needs to go out so please do go out when you need to it's important for your health so let's control b to get the ss part out of it all right so we just get the SS part we just need the part where she was working okay so let's where she was working so we'll start the review from here where she starts to get close to okay so this is where we're going to start the review from so now we'll bring in our text and i'm going to show you something cool so this is the text we're going to be using and this is where we want it to come in okay so we want it to come in at this point so we're just going to reduce the scale right we reduce the scale so we can put it somewhere here okay we can leave it somewhere there and we'll just cut this remaining part of it usually you want to use a better video for this because this is not really the best video but we are going to try to make it work so let's just cut it here ctrl b so now it's all started here right so this is where we are going to go to our max to horizontal max 90 degree 
okay 90 degree so we want it to be here all right so now as she walks it's supposed to appear under her okay it's supposed to appear under so the best thing i'm going to do is to cut out this so that it appears at at the back so it's going to be double of this i'm going to duplicate this layer okay we copy and control v so i want it to be double the layer like i said it's not the best image and that's why i'm going through this process so auto remove background okay so it's auto removing the background we'll just wait for that to finish up so it's done removing the background now we need to take this text and put it behind these two layers like that all right so now i'm going to go to the beginning and i'm going to make it bigger all right and i will only allow it to review when she's close to the seat okay so now let's do it from here now we're going to go back to the mark skin tool okay we put our first keyframe move it close to where she's about to sit and then we are going to drag in drag it out like that okay we'll just keep following her uh, while she okay just like that we'll keep following her uh, it is simple effect that we can all do without wasting much time. All right, it's quite easy to do. It's not complicated at all. So it says subscribe now. So now if we go over and play from here, this is how it looks. simple not complicated easy to do so it's left to you if you want to increase this more than what it is you can go back to the basic and just increase it like that put it in the middle it's totally up to you as you can see this is a way of me saying subscribe if you are enjoying this course so far right if you're enjoying the course so far subscribe so now I'm going to show you how to make advanced talking face camp circle using the Mark Skin tool on CapCut PC. Let's get straight right to it. It's not a complicated process. So first thing first is for me to bring in the video I want to use. So let's use this. Let's use this. So let's assume this is the talking face cam I want to use. Once again, it's quite long, so I'll just cut it here. Control B. So now that we have the SS out, this is the video we want to use for our talking cam. Okay. Assuming we had another um, screen recording, we want to record beneath this, and we just want this image to be the talking cam so let's go you go to max to and you click on circle max so now that you've clicked on circle max you just want a face right you can make it bigger or smaller depending on how you want it to be this usually is the first stage but i would like to start it a bit forward not at the beginning because it's the advanced kind of marks I want to do so let's just let's remove this none so now 
I would start with um, the triangle marks and just cover the whole screen right so this will be my starting and when I move forward I will now go to the circle marks okay so now I'm gonna create a keyframe there and then after we have you can see the for the full clip we have that head then we're gonna do something cool from where we did the circular max we are going to go to basics and now we're going to set another keyframe here and this is where the magic happens so we're going to move two or three keyframes to the left and we're going to move this down like so and make it smaller super cool right so now if we go on and play it from the beginning we get something like this okay so we get something like that so if you wanted that full effect you can actually from where we are that you can cut from here Control b so from here we can remove the marks just to give it that you know that extra feel of going from one so we'll do none so we have it like that right so now this is the effect i was trying to make for you so let's play it and see so you have that that and that so you can see how easy it went from phase one which is the talking phase so for instance we say let's get to the screen and we have that and we have that moving it's super easy not complicated at all these are things you just find yourself using often and it's going to project your video editing to a super high level that when anyone see your video even though it's just something you learn once they just see that particular scene they're like okay this person is a really pro professional individual when it comes to video editing let's give him that job or oh, we love your video your videos are good yes you don't see much of editing on my channel because i'm teaching you how to edit but if it comes to editing for someone then it's going to be a better quality obviously depending on what your client wants so that's how to do it i hope you enjoyed it let's go on from there so i'm bringing in this um waterfall video you can see it has clear sky right so this has a totally clear sky i'm going to reduce the audio because i don't want the audio to disturb us while we walk so i'm just gonna work with this so let's go to the audio and just reduce that audio we don't want it disturbing us while we work so now that we've done that let's go back to basic so this is one video we're going to bring in this picture as you can see it's just a normal picture right it's a normal picture we'll take it to the top just like that and then we are just going to increase it to cover the screen like that so now i'll move it a bit to the top and the next thing we want to do is to go to max and once again horizontal max all right so you can see we took it to the top a lot so let's just blend it first so let's just blend it a bit and we'll move it down a little okay okay this works so you can just adjust the blend if you don't want the blend to be too much you can adjust it if you want it to look like a cinematic sky you can also do that so now you can see how it's looking so we have the video beneath if we play it this is how it looks okay and this is how it looks before the sky this was how it was looking all right and now this is how it's looking with the sky but we can bring life to it by adding some effect so what i want to do is to click on transform okay go to adjust first 
You want to go to adjustment. And want to click on adjust keyframe. So it's going to change all colors for the keyframe. So just click on that. We're just going to be working with the temperature. So let's first click on adjust to click on this keyframe. Once we click on that, so it turns on all this keyframe. So we have the first keyframe to be pink. We're just going to move our play head four frame to the left using your right key arrow. And we just count four, one, two, three, four. And now we can play around with the tint and the rest. As you can see, we change that. Move on to that four keyframe, one, two, three, four. And we can make it blue and make it kind of more of that color. Moving the keyframe again. And we can make it a darker version of that. So you just keep doing that for the whole image till you get all the effects you want in. So it's going to give light to the sky. As you can see, it has a red feel to it now. All right. So we have the red feel to it. Now we have the orange feel. So you can keep changing the color as much as you want just giving it different views okay so let's try to get a green this time okay so more of a greenish black right so let's bring this to the middle and see if we get proper green okay we have more of a blue sky now okay so this makes a lot of sense right so now if we go to the beginning and then we play it from the beginning, this is what we get. This kind of has its own graphics. So you can see back to the normal video. So it's not complicated at all. It's super easy to do. It does not take time. You just need practice and you'll be good at it. Now I'll show you how to use the max to to give for instance a screenshot the round edges to make it look more neat and professional this method is super easy like you see we worked on this video i'm sure you would have watched it and now i have a screenshot which i'm, I'm gonna bring in right about now so this is the screenshot i'm just gonna bring it and drop it here cool so now i'm gonna cut it out at this point just so the video is not long so i'll do i'll do control control b and i'll delete that so now we have the screenshot as you can see the screenshot looks you know kind of four corner it's not terrible right but it can be better and that's what we're about to do to make your video stand out so now this comment you can see on the screen now is from my course just in case you've not watched it and you're just coming to my channel for the first time this is a course i did a completely free full cap cut video editing course which is four hours 40 minutes long so you can check that out after this video and this is the comment i took good idea to show the time stamps for those of us who have played with CapCut now and then, there's always something to learn. This was a lot of work. Good job. So that is it. So that is what we have here. So to make it more catchy, more fun, giving it life, we'll come to Max from Basics, obviously. Yeah, you want to click on the rectangle Max. Okay. So now that you're on the rectangle Max, you just drag out for the length of the video or the size and now we have the max like this so now we are just going to drag this out okay so with the process of dragging this dot out you're going to see it's going to give it that curved edge and now if we go out of it and go to basics and we'll click out you see 
so you see it has the curved edge now so i'm just going to zoom in i'm going to scale it in and just move it about so that you see the curved edge so you see we now have the curved edge right so now we can do something cool we'll just take the scale back down right we we'll just take it back down so that it's perfect or not too big so now we can just turn it a bit like so so now we, we want to have it there right but instead of it coming through the top i want to go it to go through under this video like so okay so it's under the video so what we're going to do is we're going to add what we call transform keyframe so now i'll put it off don't make this mistake i'll take it out of frame like this and i'll add the transform keyframe in this beginning and then i'll just move to somewhere here and drag that back in like so so it automatically gives it that pop up then you can go on and just you know scale it in scale it in like that it gives it another total animation process and you can move it about like so and just keep doing that and you have your animation just there for you to see so now if we go over and tr try to play this from the beginning we're going to get something unique so this is me with style i've taught you how to use the what do you call it the keyframe tool so now let's play it from beginning and see the way it is from beginning you see that's how cool it is so now we have the rounded edges so that's how to put rounded edges to your element and a screenshot or a shape or something going forward there's a video on your screen right now i will advise you to watch that video after this if you want to become a total pro yes masking tool will help you become an expert but you might not know you might just be seeing this course and you've not watched the beginners course on how to use CapCut. so that video is for you watch it and we'll see you on the next class stay blessed